Motor Yacht Ruby Rose. Anyways, uh, the reason I say Motor Yacht is that we have one knot of wind. 1.5 1. 1. knots. Ooh, the heady, the heady half knot. Oh, the possibilities. That's going to get her over on, a, get the rails in the water. Yeah. Anyways, there is zero wind today. Uh, we have heard, or we had heard, and we continue to hear from Mediterranean sailors that uh, there is very, very frequently not enough wind to sail. We know that even our big sails, so our Code Zero and our Parasailer, need three knots of apparent wind to, uh, to, to set. So uh, we've known that for a while. So until we get three knots, there's just, there's just no point. There's no swell either, so you know you could argue that putting the main sail up stabilizes the boat. It's just like sailing along in your local duck pond. It's very defensive about that. No, because I think that you get a lot of people that come along and they're like, oh, why don't you sail? And it's not its not our beautiful friends here on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and sometimes Snapchat, when I can bother. Um, it's just you get on the sailing forums, you're like, you can sail it if you want to. <laughs> I'm like, well, you can't sail this. If you this. really wanted to, you could be yeah, sailing. If you really wanted to, you could get that out. That probably does apply to us sometimes. We've... Yeah, sometimes we've, yeah, yeah, all right, fair enough. Is... But yeah, we can't, yeah, all right. Anyway, so beautiful, beautiful Cartagen Cartagena. Really enjoyed it, very historic. See the previous video, blah blah blah. Today we just have a long, a long trot up the coast, and uh, that's it really. So there we go. So back later. Anything to add, my love? No. no. All right, back later. shots though. I'm excited. How are you going there Skipper? Fish farm, fish farm, <laughs> scare me so bad. Fish farm, fish farm, go away. There am I all long and scared the piss out of me. Don't sail into the fish farm. Look, there's boys all along here, completely submerged. There are. Yeah, look, on there. 
All right. So the plan is to hopefully anchor. Um, anchoring is actually not allowed in this harbour, but apparently the port authorities sometimes turn a blind eye. So we're going to take our cue from what it looks like when we're actually behind the breakwater. If there's other boats at anchor, we'll anchor, and if there's not, then we'll assume that they've been moved on. We good? Anchored up tonight, home sweet home. Not the most spectacular view we've ever had from an anchorage, but at least. Uh... Is that the you? Engine. No, it wasn't me. Okay, engine problem. Alright. I think that was relatively successful. Apart from the engine knock. Literally just somewhere to put the anchor down for the night. Um, I'm sure that anyone who lives in Torreviejo can tell us its various merits. Um, it didn't look particularly attractive. It literally was just somewhere to go and sleep. We decided to kind of like, well, we had two options. We could have gone and day sailed. Um, day sailed all the way um, up the coast, which is quite pleasant. Or we could have just had an overnighter and uh, the Admiral said she wanted a day sail, so the Admiral got her way. Anyway, uh, that means I get... Yes, the Admiral always gets her own way. Anyway, uh, that means I get a quiet life and it means that we day sail. But um, we heard that the marina was like super crazy expensive um, based on just things that we use for um, trying to work out um, our, our passage planning. So two things that we use for passage planning. We use Active Captain. Um, for those of you who may have watched our previous vids, I, I have a slight issue with Garmin, uh, who now own a Active Captain. Um, but it is a really, before Garmin bought it out, and still it's a really, really good app um, for reviews. It's good, they're good reviews. Um, and the second thing we use now is the Cruising Association um, website. There's a, um, and the thing is that there are lots of we never joined the Cruising Association until now, and there's things like the Cruising Association and OCC, which is the Ocean Cruising Club. And I was always like, oh yeah, just an old man's club, who was just sit and bang on about how amazing they are as sailors. But I have had to eat my own words, and not for the first time, I may add. Um, they both give you uh, quite a huge repository of information. And now that the internet is live, kind of like and updated, it's not just a load of old files you get. There are some really useful reviews. So we picked up reviews on from the Cruising Association website and also from uh, Active Captain. Both are subscription services though. So you have to pay some beans. Anyway, uh, beautiful morning. We are gonna sail um, to Alicante this morning and spend the weekend seeing historic Alicante. So come along with us for the journey. Everyone says, isn't it? Come and come and join the journey with us. Oh, no, genuinely, come and join the journey with us. It's uh, it's gonna be good. Today is yet another motor sail down a fairly uninspiring coastline. Uh, we've had a little bit of wind today, but it's all been on the nose, unfortunately. A uh, bit of traffic around, so we've been uh, kept on our toes, having to negotiate quite a lot of ferries and other sailing boats and small fishing craft and whatnot so it's always something to do and there seems to be a trimaran kind of bearing down on us right now 
but a fairly short passage today, only about 25 miles and we'll be getting to Alicante uh, about 1.30 this afternoon and then we'll probably have a couple of days there because there's going to be some thunderstorms this weekend and some strong northeasterlies and of course we are going in a northeast direction so northeast winds are not what we want and now excuse me while I try and avoid colliding with this trimaran Just gently, babe. We're drifting back, so we're all good. Good afternoon, good evening, good afternoon, good evening. Um, let me just find my flip-flops. Uh, well, we are now in Alicante and we were going to go out to Alicante today and show you Alicante because we've been in since about two o'clock this afternoon. The reason we didn't is it was so ridiculously hot. Yeah. We had to just, literally, we were like a couple of... Um, a couple of what? I'm trying to think of a, a reasonable analogy. Give me a second, we can fast forward this bit. <laughs> <laughs> is that analogy here? <laughs> is that analogy here? <laughs> we were like a couple of penguins, that was it. A couple of penguins, well, they don't like the heat, do they? What are you laughing about? It's good to land you like, anyway. A couple of, anyways, it was it was too bloody hot, literally. I, I was. I, I felt like I was more like a jellyfish. You know, the ones that like wash up on the beach and then are just like lying and bloated in the yeah, sun. You, a second ago, you mocked my penguin analogy, now you're using jellyfish. I feel like that's way more. Either way, it was hot. So anyway, so yeah, we waited till uh, about, it's about 7 p.m. And the reason we're in Alicante is we read all the cruising guides and as I said, we read all the guides and this is meant to be a phenomenally expensive marina. Which it is. It is, it's cheap. It's about 50% more expensive than uh, any other marina we've been to. So just to put that in to kind of perspective, <clears throat> most marinas that we've been to, uh, we are, uh, just underneath 12 meters so 11 11 90 uh 24 25 euros a pop this place 62 63 so yeah two and a half times the reason we've come here is because we wanted to see alicante and secondly because uh we have some quite horrendous thunderstorms predicted and uh, we thought we might as well just be in a marina that we could get some work done there's meant to be internet here yada 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 anyways off to see alicante and see what you think After tap passing the, after tap passing life to the max, we have gone with them. Um, we just had a really good burger joint. Because I am partial to burger. I'm not going to lie. I love a good burger. In my, in my belly. These burgers are really awesome. Those cost less than our drinks. It turns out Alicante is very expensive. So, 
We had a lovely evening. We are going to film a little bit more. But then we were invited to sit with this lovely, lovely Dutch woman at her table at the bar, because there was no tables at the bar. And we thought that she was inviting us to come and sit with her because she was about to leave and she was saying, you know, have my table. But she actually, I think, just wanted some company for the evening. She was very nice, very She pleasant. was so lovely. Well, uh, look, it's one thing, but the one thing we love about sailing. You, you, you kind of... Well, move. she wasn't a sailor. No, I know, but it's like the littlest hobo. You kind of go between, like, little towns meeting people. Only you're not a dog. <laughs> and I also have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> 70s TV. Anyway. Okay. No, we've had a lovely yeah, evening. Yeah, so we had a really nice evening and then it turned out that the bar that we were at was like ludicrously expensive. We did not realise that until we got the bill. And so um, to cut some costs, it was a cost cutting exercise, we absolutely had to have burgers for dinner. I, that, that wasn't, um, that wasn't, but well, yes, we had burgers <laughs> for dinner, but I wanted a burger. I think to quote you back at yourself, I've had enough of Tapas, let's get something that's not tapas. It was a joke. It was not a joke. It was a joke. I was, I was making a joke about how we didn't really have to have... Do you get it? Do you understand the way, my way? No, I don't understand your way. I need to go over here now because my arm's getting sore. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> we have to wrap up this episode. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. You're brilliant. <laughs> really are. Honestly, this is no way... This is in no way a floating <laughs> show. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you like what we do and you want to see what we do every week, then please hit that subscribe button. Cheers, bye. So this evening we are heading out in Alicante. <laughs> what are you doing? Just, just livening up the scene. <laughs> <laughs> so we've already done this scene. But um, I said to Nick, Nick, make sure that you do the thing where you put your hand over the lens so that we can people, do like people, people a cool want, transition. People don't want to know our magic. <laughs> don't, to, don't give them our magic skills. I think it's fairly know, obvious. I mean, my magical skills should stay in the magical pot. Anyway, I was not satisfied. So we're doing it again. Shall we have another discussion about the jellyfish and the penguins? No, no, no more jellyfish. See, now, now the jellyfish. Now we've lost it. Jellyfish and the penguin discussion's gone. Hang on, my arms are getting sore. No, don't do that because I need, I need to hold it with this arm because... <laughs> okay. Uh, stop it. <laughs> Walk normally. <laughs> I don't even know what I had to say. Burger scene for you there. 